at Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another lug haul. Um, some of this has been delayed because I was waiting for the rest of my orders to arrive, but everything is here for now. Although I may place another order today in about half an hour because the surprise box is coming out and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Um, I do like those. I haven't gotten every single one. I think I've got all but one of them. But anyway, let's look at some new items and some new patterns. I'm really excited. I got the Skyliner Tote. I did order this piece from QVC. Um, I love this new pattern, the Whimsy Black. It is right up my alley. Black kind of background with bright florals on it. It has the purples and blues and teals, which I really love those colors together. So this is so perfect for me. So perfect. It's just bright and happy and colorful to me. So this is a tote. It does not come with a crossbody strap. It is a strictly tote. Um, it has the no slip grip all the way around on the top of both handles. It has a good strap drop. Very comfortable for me. I honestly would like it just slightly longer to tell the truth, but it is very nice and works very well. And it has a zipper closure with a tab all the way across. Standard smooth metallic hardware and gunmetal from lug now the front of the bag does have the charm tab on there you can hook your sunglasses through it you can do whatever this is kind of like a rubber piece so it is a different material right below that you have your standard cell phone pocket with the fleece lining and that is the front of the bag the back of the bag you have several items you have your trolley sleeve if you so choose to use it and then you have a zipper pocket right above that that goes pretty much all the way across it's not quite that's my reminder, half an hour to buy the Lug Life box. Um, inside you have two pen slots right here. You have a clear ID window and it comes with one of the charm cards or um, compliment cards I call them. Live, laugh, lug in this case. And the back is just lug. Uh, I take those out and give them out whenever I see fit. But this pocket is RFID so that is nice. Nice big pocket and no key bungee or anything in there. That's fine. Inside the main pouch, you do have a key bungee. Here it is with a key clip on the end. You have a privacy pocket and right in front of that you have a really big, nice clear view pocket. On the opposite side, you have two big slip pockets. And on the side of the bag, over here on the side, you have this elastic top edge to a insulated pocket so you can see that silver lining there literally <laughs> um, but it's a really nice size bag there's the bottom you do get four plastic feet for it to stand on which is really nice it does not have that plastic coating that some of the bags have I don't think it needs it it's nice that it has the feet um, but it's a really nice size bag really nice tote and I look forward to giving it a try of course now I need a bunch of matchy matchy accessories because I love the pattern that will come all right, in other news, another new style and pattern. This is the flatbed and bright floral. And this is a multifunctional type bag. I, I've got my sister-in-law hooked on it. She hasn't even gotten one. She's seen this. She now wants to get it as a roving first aid kit for around the farm. She can just grab it and go. Not that there's been any need, but we want to always be prepared. Um, but this is a great bag. It's also great for travel, toiletries, cosmetics, any number of things. It would be a great project bag for crafts. Uh, yeah, lots and lots of things. It's a navy background with all the neons and the white flowers. It just kind of keeps it fun and bright and happy. On the back here, we have a zipper pocket. It is plastic lined and it's kind of a bright floral interior with just like a faded background. It, it's not faded. It's supposed to be that way. But that's just what it looks like to me. On the front, there are no pockets, but you do have that quilted section right down the middle. And then you have the two handles. In front of the front handle, you have a zipper section. It zips all the way down the sides. It is gusseted and opens up nicely. In, well, there's a card, but inside, it's just a pocket. So you could put a lot of flat things or small things in that front section. And then you have the main section, which is most of the bag. And when it's all stretched out, it's quite a large bag. Let me just remove some of these tissues really quick. So the bag does open and lay flat. You have two pouches. On the front side of the bag, you have a fabric pouch. On the back side of the bag, you have a clear pouch. 
Both are zipper closures and very nice. Then your middle section has two zippable segments. Both have clear tops. So you can really see what's inside the bag, which makes it really kind of cool and novel. Then when you open both sides, you can snap them together so that it just stays open and you can access everything in there pretty easily. Both sides are fully plastic lined. So behind this tissue, it's just plastic all the way around. So very, very wipeable, very usable, very functional. And there you have it. The next item, another new item and another new um, color, if you will, this is the mini swizzle, the traveling jewelry case. Of course, I'm gonna use it for many things, not just for jewelry. And this is in the metallic black. So you can kind of see it has a shimmer and sheen to it. It is not so much, there is, not, oh, there is glitter in it, like very, very fine glitter look to it, but it's a slicky feel, okay, like slickier than the nylon regular fabric. Um, but I really like it. And I, I think I might get some more items in the metallic black, maybe in the future. But this was just a generic little piece that can go with everything, so I wanted to keep it a neutral color. But it has a double zipper, it has this cute little handle on top, and that's it for the outside. The top is quilted, the rest is not, but it zips all the way around so that it opens up the top. Now, it doesn't lay flat or anything, but it does open nicely, you can bend it all the way back. The top is very interesting, it has a little pouch, a mesh pouch, and you can put your earrings through the holes and get in there. And this actually can Velcro out. So it has the two little tabs that Velcro out. So you can put little things and grab that out. Behind that, you have a little soft lined cargo pocket with elastic on it. So I'm thinking like earrings, small bracelets, things like that. Really, you can use it for so, so many things. And then on the base of it, the main part of the, you have your little rings thing. So you can stick earrings or rings in between these. They're all, the whole thing is soft. It is designed and meant for jewelry, but you also can take this bottom foamy piece out. That's just folded. It really looks like this when it's laid flat. Um, and then inside you just have this big area. So if you just want to take a bunch of bulky bracelets or things like that, or rings that don't need to be stood up next to each other, whatnot, large earrings, you can just put it in there directly. I personally probably will use it more like for my rings and big earrings that can stick in there. But get this in there. It takes just a moment to get it sorted. And there it is, back in the pouch. So that's the mini swizzle. Then I've got three pieces in azalea pink. And these are just accessory pieces for my wallet. I mean, um, for my <laughs> bags. I bought the jumper in azalea pink. And it's just such a I like this pattern a lot, more than I thought I did when I first saw it. I liked it, but now I like it a lot more. And every time I see it, I feel like I need more of it. But I'm keeping it kind of tame. Just one purse and these, and so far that's it. So I have the Splits XL, which we'll look at in a moment. I have the Mini Choo Choo, and I have the, oh wait, what was this called? Bob Sled. So this is a sunglass case. So I use these for different things, not necessarily what they're designed for, but the bobsled does have a clip, so I typically will use this for sunglasses actually, and either hook it on the bag or hook it on the key clip inside the bag so I know exactly where to find stuff. And it does have that semi-rigid interior that is soft covered, but you see right here it has this, and you can actually take that hard piece out, which then makes this a beautiful little soft pouch to put other things in if that's the way you want to use it. So that is really nice. And it's pretty easy to just put this harder piece back in there. And then voila, up and under there on both sides. And well, this one's taking me a little longer because I'm being a bit distracted, but there you go. It's back inside just like that. Okay. The Mini Choo Choo. This is actually a travel pill case. It does come with uh, eight sections and the little pop top thing. So I typically don't use these for medicines, although absolutely can. And I have at times, but I really use it for travel for earrings. I put a bunch of little earrings in the slots and then they're protected. I can even do it by day for the planned outfits, whatever. I typically don't do that, but it, it gets me to 
take all these little bits of jewelry things to get what I want and keep everything protected and separate. But when you take that out, you have a beautiful little pouch. This is a perfect accessory pouch for almost any bag because it is a small size, very compact. You can put a lot of different things in here. Hand sanitizers, uh, wipes in individual packets. You can have chapstick, lipstick, a little bit of makeup, whatever. Not too many big things, but uh, several little things fit nicely in here. So I do use these. I have them in several patterns now, but yeah, I have the whole matchy matchy with the Zelia pink. All right, lastly, let's take a little bit of a look at the Splits XL. This is my favorite lug wallet. I do like all of the lug wallets that I have, and I do have most of them, although not all of them, I don't have a couple of the new ones. But it is a removable wristlet strap. I usually leave that on there. It has two sections. Both of them are very smooth zippers, which I love, and they open the direction I prefer. So I hold my wallet like a book, I unzip it, and then I can open this front section. In this section, you have a compliment card, same as the other. We have a clear view. We have one, two, three, four pockets above that. So I actually have five. The bottom one is the clear view. Behind that, you have a long pocket. You have an elastic for a pen or whatever else you choose. And then you have this slot. A lot of people put their phones in here. This I use as my cash drawer because when I open it, I want all my like paying stuff in the same section. So I do it that way. Plus, my phone is quite large and honestly doesn't fit too great in this pocket. Now, it fits in there and it fits great and you can close this, the zipper, no problem. But when I put all my cards in here and then try and close it, it bulks out that pocket. It will close, but I feel like that's really stressing that zipper. So I don't put it there. I do put it occasionally in the wallet, but I'll put it in the back section back here. And it fits for me a little bit better back there, even with the wallet loaded. Not so much when there's a silica pouch in the way, but okay. So that's the front segment. The back segment is a mirror image of itself. So it has two big cash drawers. It has six card slots, three and three, and then six more, three and three. Then you have two more, three more in the middle, three here and three on the other side. So tons and tons and tons of card slots here. Absolutely love it. You've got space in both sides, um, in the middle and behind. So again, if you're not using the front segment as your cash drawer, you can put cash in either side here or in the middle here. If you're traveling, you have multiple kinds of currencies. There's four different slots right in this pocket to put the different currencies if you so desire. But there you go. So a lot of options right there. Zip that up. And then the back has that really large, really nice coin purse. On the outside, it's gusseted on one side, so you really can get in there, find a coin you want, and pull them out individually. Um, I do love having the coin on the outside because when it's in the pocket, it tends to bulk out when you fill it with coins, and then it's kind of a nuisance. But, but the Azalea Pink with the beautiful botanicals on there. There you go. So front is quilted with the cloud quilting, and the back is not quilted. But that's it for this one. I hope you're all doing very well and enjoying the end of summer. Fall is coming. The weather here is cooled off just a little and it's very nice. Humid still, but very nice. Take care. Be well. Stay happy. Bye for now.